Hey guys, welcome back to News Dump from PAX Boston, where it's freezing outside, but way too hot in here. Yeah, there's no middle ground. Nope, at all. Welcome to the East Coast. So anyway, that Comedy Central roast of Justin Bieber's coming up at the end of this month, and it's that one we've already talked about. We think it kind of undermines the whole point of roast, um, and it just keeps proving us right with every little bit of news that comes <laughs> out about it. Yeah, if you missed our video about Bieber's upcoming roast, you can click out here and uh, go check that out. But our bottom line was that roasts are supposed to be about honoring a person's career and friendships through insult comedy. But in the last few years, Comedy Central has ditched that original intent and just roasted whatever celeb was joke fodder at the time, so. Yeah, and there's, there's nothing really honorable about Justin Bieber at all. And uh, <laughs> no. the, people, the people roasting him are not his friends. Um, aside from comedians like Kevin Hart, Hannibal Burris, Chris D'Elia, Natasha Leggero, and of course, Jeffrey Ross. Natasha Leggero is just lovely, by the way. Uh, and, and Jeffrey Ross is just lovely. Yeah. The other roasters that were announced include Snoop Dogg, <sighs> Ludacris, Shaquille O'Neal, and Martha Stewart. Oh, Martha Stewart, that hilarious comedian. She's really gonna roast him. Great. So first off, I can almost guarantee you that none of those non-comedians we just listed are gonna be writing their own material. No. Uh, not that you'd want them to anyway. Could you imagine <laughs> jokes written by Martha Stewart Shaquille or Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. I have no idea what he would write about. Absolutely not. And secondly, when we brought this up the last time we talked about this, there's no way any of these people are going to give Beaver the roasting he actually deserves. Which is a vicious one. A vicious, horrible roasting with actual fire. But that's the, thing. the whole thing with the last episode is like, they're gonna end their roast and be like, oh, oh, but we love you, we Beaver. Love you. Yeah, you're a great guy. Yeah, but that's not true. He's a terrible person. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. And it doesn't uh, seem like any of his actual real life friends are showing slash up. Slash his drug dealers are yeah. going to be doing any of the roasting, so. It would be better if they had Selena Gomez go up and roast him. That'd be great. Yeah. Listen, Comedy Central, we're available if you want us. Yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Comedy Central stunt casting may have actually worked because, I mean, now you kind of want to watch this oh, I'll train be wreck happen. It. Yeah. So they, they've already made my money, I guess. Yeah. But moving on from train wrecks to plane crashes. <laughs> great segue. Damn. Well, Har yeah, Harrison Ford terrified basically everyone when he showed up on the news Thursday after crashing a small plane he was piloting into an LA golf course. Reports listed him as being seriously injured, and not a lot has been revealed about the extent of his injuries, but at this point it seems like he's going to be okay. Yeah. His son was tweeting that he's fine. Yeah, so, I mean, we certainly hope so. Harrison Ford is one of the most iconic actors of our lifetime. The guy is Han Solo and Indiana Jones. He can survive anything. Yeah. Uh, anyways, when the initial reports of his plane crash were coming in, many people on Twitter decided uh, to use humor as a coping mechanism and either blame the crash on Chewbacca or on Indiana Jones' fear of snakes. Or a reference to the get off my plane line from Air Yeah, there's a lot of great Photoshop There's a bunch of snakes in his plane and yeah, that's why he's... Like, oh! And there was Chewbacca in the plane just like... Ugh. But anyways, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, anyway, get, get, get better <laughs> soon. We, 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 we care about you, okay? Anyway, speaking of people who seem just unable to die, <laughs> uh, it's been 19 years since Bob Barker made his hilarious cameo in Adam Sandler's Happy Gilmore, uh, and all these years later, they're still beating the shit out of each other. Great. In a clip from Comedy Central's Night of Too Many Stars, wow, we're giving them a lot of press today. <laughs> I guess we are. Send us some money. <laughs> uh, this It airs this Sunday, and uh, we get to see that, although Bob Barker's 91 years <laughs> old and not in the best of health, he still fucking hates Happy Gilmore. Yeah, and while their fight from the movie was pretty crazy, this 2015 rematch definitely raises the stakes. Yeah. I mean, we talk a lot of shit on Adam Sandler's current career path, but it feels great to talk about him doing something we actually like, even if it is just a throwback to a movie that came out 19 years ago. Isn't that Cobbler movie coming out soon? That's probably gonna be good, right? Who knows? It looks and okay. My, the bar has been so lowered so far that I'm just like, oh, yeah, Blended that, was a piece that of looks film mildly garbage. entertaining. Uh, but while Adam Sandler is just an easy target because so much of what he makes these days kind of sucks, even people that we love, like Wes Anderson, can be made fun of. Yeah, and he's a great target. Yeah. Uh, Wes Anderson movies definitely have a unique style, and there's always been lots of parodies of it on YouTube and on shows like SNL, but this one, from YouTube's Patrick H. Willems, poses the question, what if Wes Anderson directed X-Men? And it might be my favorite Wes Anderson parody ever. Is it ever. just all of their like suit, like gear laid out on tables very neatly and A lot of just like music. symmetry and shit like that. Great dialogue, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so it follows young Bobby Drake, aka Iceman, as he joins Xavier's School for the Gifted Youngsters and meets fellow students Cyclops, Angel, Jean Grey, and Beast. It's got all the hallmarks of Wes Anderson, the loss of symmetry and bright colors, awkward dialogue, retro production design, of course, great 60s and 70s music. It's, uh, I don't know, I, I found it quite twee. You're such a fucking hipster piece of shit. <laughs> liberal douchebag hipster White garbage. White guilt liberal piece of shit. Yeah. Anyways, finally, earlier this week, the upcoming movie Unfinished Business tried its hand at some unconventional marketing, and judging by how much attention it's gotten online, I'd say that they succeeded. Yeah, uh, so stock photos can be some of the most unintentionally awkward and hilarious images, so for this marketing stunt, Unfinished Business teamed up with Getty Images to insert Vince Vaughn, Dave Franco, and Tom Wilkinson into a bunch of stupid, generic office stock photos. If you love stock photos, can I 
suggest the subreddit r slash you don't surf. Yes. Enjoy. They're actually just existing stock images with the actors photoshopped in, and uh, Adweek has a great set of GIFs showing the new ones next to the originals. So. Yeah, it's, whoever did that Photoshop work, great job. Thumbs up. And they're all available to use now for free, as long as you don't use them for like commercial purposes, I so guess. So we can't show them right now? Well, we can. All right, we're doing it. <laughs> For editorial purposes, okay. that's what we're doing. Yeah. One of the pictures already showed up in an article in Canadian newspaper Globe and Mail, and hopefully Dave Franco looking at generic charts shows up in even more newspapers. Yeah, it was an article about like millennials in the workforce. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is perfect. A picture of Dave Franco looking at a chart. Yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, we're here at PAX in Boston. It's freezing, it's warm, it's, it's back and forth all over the place. Yeah. We're having a fun time. We're here doing AFK with our buddy Brett. And Shibby, get in here, Shibby. Hey. Hey. Stand behind us because you're uh, too tall. We had, a, uh, <laughs> we had a grueling week so far, and there's more to come, so uh, stick around. I mean, you'll see all this in the coming weeks. It's going to be a lot of fun, but let's go get sick on the floor and smell farts. Yeah, thanks for not hating tugs. <clears throat> yeah, don't hate tugs. Even though we didn't do one this week because we've been literally working nonstop in the wilderness, but next week we will do another the game. The tugs are coming back. The tugs unless, are back, baby. Unless we have the PAX virus. All right, let's get on the PAX floor. Let's already count down. One, One two, two, three. PAX! Oh, we! Oh. Luxury. <laughs>